Mere seconds after Meghan Markle steps out of a car, one stiletto clad foot after the other, she sets in motion an extraordinary chain reaction across the globe. Fashion bloggers frantically identify every garment she's wearing, from her jeans to her jewelry, ringing designers, ateliers and stores from Cardiff to Canada. Once those details are posted online, shops, from exclusive Stella McCartney to Marks and Spencer, are bombarded by shoppers desperate to get Meghan's look. The outcome is always the same. Every item Meghan is wearing sells out, usually within minutes, sometimes seconds, of her appearance. Cheaper copycat items too. Websites frequently crash under the strain. Few other style icons wield such incredible power in the fashion world, not even the Duchess of Cambridge. Kate adds an estimated £1 billion to the British fashion industry annually, but in the latest issue of Vogue, editor Edward Ininfel says her soon-to-be sister-in-law could eclipse her. Miss Markle is an astonishing fashion sales force, who is setting the industry alight. So what is it about Meghan that makes her wardrobe so covetable and sends clothes flying, quite literally, off the shelves? Fashion experts in Toronto, Meghan's home for the six years between 2011 and 2017 when she was filming legal drama suits, all used the same expression, effortless chic, to describe her style. She always looks like she's not trying, says John Muscat, founder of Line the Label. The Canadian brand behind the £750 white wrap coat Meghan wore to mark her engagement to Prince Harry last November. John, 45, has been dressing Meghan for five years, after being introduced by her best friend and style advisor Jessica Maroney. He made sure she had a collection of clothes from Line to bring to London when she moved here last year. He knows only too well the astonishing, and highly lucrative impact of the Meghan effect. His rap coat sold out within 20 minutes of the American actress's appearance on Harry's arm at Kensington Palace. It was insane, recalls John. The phone was ringing off the hook with international press requests. I did 12 hours straight of TV, phone and email interviews. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. We had 5,000 requests for the coat. It cost £750. That is not something you buy lightly. Requests were flooding in from around the world. In gratitude to Meghan, who has put his label firmly on the international fashion map, John has renamed the coat, now back in stock. The Meghan, a few blocks away in downtown Toronto, is St. Taylor, which also has the Meghan seal of approval. Its founder Bojana St. Taylor, a 33-year-old mother of two, met Meghan when she visited the showroom in 2016 to check out her collection of Peruvian alpaca coats, jackets and pashmanas. She looked through every coat, says Bojana. She was polite, very smiley and made me feel completely at ease. Her absolute favorite piece is a wrap coat. Insiders say she has nine St. Taylor coats, six yet to be seen and they fit her figure perfectly. Although Kate and Canadian PM's wife Sophie Grégoire Trudeau were already wearing her designs. Bojana says the Meghan effect took things to a new level. The £1,000 St. Taylor camel coat with his signature rib sleeves, which Meghan wore to church on Christmas Day, sold out in 24 hours. I got up at 6 a.m. 11 a.m. UK time for an early flight, Bojana explains. My phone was buzzing like mad with messages. I saw on Twitter that Meghan was wearing one of my designs. It was the best Christmas present ever. We made more and it's continuing to sell and sell. The waiting list is around two months at the moment. We've had customers asking us to ship to Singapore, Australia, India, places you wouldn't imagine they would need alpaca coats. There's no doubt about it, Megan sells clothes. The £390 green fitted dress she wore for her BBC engagement interview, by Italian brand Parish, was out of stock in under an hour. Our commerce site crashed says the firm's Marta Maggi. We restocked it a week later and it sold out again. Like Line, they renamed the dress the Megan Mackage, another Canadian outerwear label, experienced the Markle Sparkle last October when Megan wore a £390 Mackage leather jacket at a low-key appearance with Harry at the Invictus Games. She chose the brand again for her first official royal engagement in Nottingham in December, wearing a £585 double-breasted navy blue coat. The coat sold out within two hours, and immediately we were getting messages asking when we would be restocking it, say the design duo behind the brand, Aaron Alfasi and Eliza Datton. We saw a huge boost in web traffic, the £495 burgundy and blue midi towed by Scottish firm Stratbury, which she carried on the same day, 
took just 11 minutes to sell out. Within days, 3,500 shoppers signed up for stock updates. The first pre-order was sold within a day. Intriguingly, designers say they receive no warning Megan is about to wear one of their pieces and send sales through the roof. We never know, it's always a surprise, explained Christy Smythe and Andrea Lenkner, who set up Smythe, one of her favorite labels. Of all the brands Megan supports, Smythe has seen the huge difference in her selling power as an actress and soon-to-be royal. When Meghan first wore their £560 Brando coat in 2015, on the suit's set, few people took much notice. But when the coat appeared for a second time, on a royal walkabout in South London in January, all stocks were gone in six hours. We reissued it straight away on our website, Andrea says. It's on pre-order so customers have to wait until autumn to get it. We've had orders from places we don't usually get interest. Hong Kong, Scandinavia. With just 12 days to the royal wedding, it's anyone's guess how quickly her look will sell out once she has the ring on her finger. It's no secret that Meghan Markle is an avid admirer of Princess Diana, Harry's late mother, and comparisons between the pair are inevitable as she enters the royal fold. According to Andrew Morton, Diana's biographer, she was intrigued by the Princess of Wales and saw her as a role model. She even had a copy of Morton's biography, Diana, Her True Story on the bookshelf in her bedroom. Though charity-loving Meghan was no doubt inspired by Diana's philanthropic work, she was an equal part captivated by her style, and a closer look at her wardrobe reveals striking comparisons. Like Diana, Meghan understands the importance of channeling subtle messages in her clothing, perhaps choosing fabrics which represent the place she's visiting or which will resonate with the people she's meeting. The pair also share a penchant for off-the-shoulder looks. This style is a particularly apt representation of both women's wardrobes, delicately treading a line between regal and risque, and it goes some way to explaining why Meghan appears to be copying so many of Diana's choices. Like Diana, Meghan is opinionated, willful and has a personality and a sense of style which are very much her own. Maintaining this, while looking every inch the perfect princess, is important to Meghan, and we're better to look for inspiration than the ultimate royal fashion icon. It's a masterful move for the royal newcomer, allowing her to look the part and pay her respects to the mother-in-law she will never meet. As the world prepares for Meghan and Harry tie the knot on May 19, 2018, here's a look back at her best looks to date and how they've changed on her road to the palace. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in the sunken garden at Kensington Palace, London, after the announcement of their engagement. Nottingham. England, December 1st, Meghan Markle attends the Terence Higgins Trust World AIDS Day Charity Fair at Nottingham Contemporary on December 1, 2017 in Nottingham, England. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced their engagement on Monday 27 November 2017 and will marry at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle in May 2018. Toronto, Ontario, September 25. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry appear together at the wheelchair tennis on day three of the Invictus Games Toronto 2017 on September 25, 2017 in Toronto, Canada. The games use the power of sport to inspire recovery, susport rehabilitation and generate a wider understanding and respect for the armed forces. Toronto, Ontario, September 23. Meghan Markle attends the opening ceremony of the Invictus Games Toronto 2017 at the Air Canada Arena on September 23, 2017 in Toronto, Canada. The Games use the power of sport to inspire recovery, susport rehabilitation and generate a wider understanding and respect for the armed forces. Toronto, Ontario, October 1. Actress Meghan Markle attends the Roland Moritz private dinner at Corkin Gallery on April 28, 2016 in Toronto, Canada. New York, New York, July 14. Actress Meghan Markle enters the Today Show taping at NBC Rockefeller Center Studios on July 14, 2016 in New York City. New York, New York, July 14. Actress Meghan Markle leaves the Today Show taping at NBC Rockefeller Center Studios on July 14, 2016 in New York City. Toronto, Ontario, June 9. Actress Meghan Markle and Marcus Anderson attend Luminato Big Bang Bash 2016 held at the Hearn Generating Station on June 9, 2016 in Toronto, Canada. New York, New York, March 17. Actress Meghan Markle discusses her role in the very popular Suits during AOL Studios in New York on March 17, 2016 in New York City.
Toronto, Ontario, May 31st, actress Meghan Markle attends the Instagram dinner held at the Mars Discovery District on May 31, 2016 in Toronto, Canada, West Hollywood, California, January 20th. Actress Meghan Markle attends L's 6th Annual Women in Television Dinner at Sunset Tower Hotel on January 20, 2016 in West Hollywood, California, New York, New York, November 2. Meghan Markle attends the 12th Annual CFDA Vogue Fashion Fund Awards at Spring Studios on November 2, 2015 in New York City, New York, New York, September 5th. Model Meghan Markle attends the Peter Somme Fashion Show during Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week Spring 2015 at Milk Studios on September 5, 2014 in New York City, New York, New York, June 24. Meghan Markle attends the 2015 NBC New York Summer Press Day at Four Seasons Hotel New York on June 24, 2015 in New York City, New York, New York, May 14. Actress Meghan Markle attends the 2015 Universal Cable Entertainment Upfront at the Jacob K. Javits Convention Center on May 14, 2015 in New York City, New York, New York, March 10. Model actress Meghan Markle attends the Step It Up for Gender Equality celebration of the 20th anniversary of the Fourth World Conference on Women in Beijing at the Hammerstein Ballroom on March 10, 2015 in New York City, London, England, March 3. Amber Nuttle, L. And Meghan Markle attend the premiere of A Postcard from Istanbul directed by John Malkovich in collaboration with Street, Regis Hotels and Resorts at 5 Hertford Street on March 3, 2015 in London, England, New York, New York, February 14. Meghan Markle attends the Mishinanu Fashion Show during Mercedes-Benz Fashion WWEEK Fall. 2015 The Ed Center 548 on February 14, 2015 in New York City, New York, New York. February 13, actress Meghan Markle attends West Gordon Runway Show during Maid Fashion Week Fall 2015 at Milk Studios on February 13, 2015 in New York City, New York, New York. October 28, Meghan Markle attends the Alton John AIDS Foundation's 13th Annual and Enduring Vision Benefit at Cipriani Wall Street on October 28, 2014 in New York City, New York, New York. May 15, Meghan Markle attends the 2014 Universal Cable Entertainment Upfront at the Jacob K. Javits Convention Center on May 15, 2014 in New York City, New York, New York. February 8, Meghan Markle is seen at Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts on February 8, 2014 in New York City, New York, New York. January 30th, Meghan Markle attends the third annual NFL Characters Unite as Sports Illustrated on January 30, 2014 in New York City, West Hollywood, California. January 22, actress Meghan Markle attends the L Women in Television celebration held at the Sunset Tower on January 22, 2014 in West Hollywood, California, Pasadena, California. January 19, Meghan Markle arrives at the NBC Universal 2014 TCA Winter Press Tour held at the Langham Huntington Hotel and Spa on January 19, 2014 in Pasadena, California, London, England. November 11, Meghan Markle attends the UK premiere of The Hunger Games, Catching Fire at Odeon Leicester Square on November 11, 2013 in London, England, New York, New York, October 30th. Actress Meghan Markle attends American Ballet Theatre 2013 opening night fall gala at a David Koch Theatre at Lincoln Center on October 30, 2013 in New York City, New York, New York, September 11. Meghan Markle attends Cantor Fitzgerald and BGC Partners annual charity day at Cantor Fitzgerald on September 11, 2013 in New York City, New York, New York, September 11. Actress Meghan Markle attends 2014 Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week during Day 7 on September 11, 2013 in New York City, New York, New York, September 10. Actress Meghan Markle attends the 2013 Novak Djokovic Benefit Dinner at Cup Itali on September 10, 2013 New York City, New York, New York, July 17. Actress Meghan Markle attends Tales of Endearment Celebration hosted by Diane von Furstenberg at DVF Accessory Shop on July 17, 2013 in New York City, Los Angeles, California, January 26. Actress Meghan Markle attends the Entertainment Weekly Screen Actors Guild Award pre-party at Chateau Marmont on January 26, 2013 in Los Angeles, California, West Hollywood, California, January 24. 
Meghan Markle arrives at the L's second annual Women in Television Celebratory Dinner at Soho House on January 24, 2013 in West Hollywood, California, Beverly Hills, California, January 13. Model and actress Meghan Markle arrives at the NBC Universal's 70th Golden Globes after party at the Beverly Hilton Hotel on January 13, 2013 in Beverly Hills, California, Toronto, Ontario, September 11. Actress Meghan Markle arrives at the 13th Annual In Style in the Hollywood Foreign Press Association's Toronto International Film Festival party at the Windsor Arms Hotel on September 11, 2012 in Toronto, Canada, New York, New York, June 12. Actress Meghan Markle attends USA Network's A Suits Story fashion show at the Highline on June 12, 2012 in New York City, Los Angeles, California, November 13. Actress Meghan Markle arrives at GQ Men of the Year party at Chateau Marmont on November 13, 2012 in Los Angeles, California. Meghan Markle at ABS Alan Schwartz, photo by Amy Tierney wire image for primary action, East Hampton, New York, August 26. Meghan Markle attends Coach Legacy photo exhibit by Reed Krakoff at Coach on August 26, 2006 in East Hampton, New York, New York, New York, October 2. Model actress Meghan Markle attends the gala tribute to Kate Blanchett during the 551st New York Film Festival at Alice Tully Hall at Lincoln Center on October 2, 2013 in New York City.